I'm gonna make some pork skewers today. I've always got a little bit of pork kicking around my fridge. If you don't have pork, you could use chicken, you could use lamb, it doesn't really matter. But what is important is this is an easy, delicious recipe to use up a bit of raw meat that happens to be in your fridge. I've got some pork neck here. Looks beautiful. I'm just gonna cut it up into slices. Now, with a pork skewer, I'm gonna cook mine in the wood oven. So I wanna slice this up into, I don't know, centimeter, centimeter and a half slices. Now, with each slice, I wanna cut it in half lengthways because I'm gonna skewer it. When I skewer them, it's pork the whole way. No better than that, trust me. So, pork's cut up, ready for a marinade. Chopped salads, right? Chopped salad for me is literally whatever you've got in the fridge. This is literally what I have in the fridge today. So, corn, these are looking good. I just stick them in the water. Now just open them up a little bit and you'll reveal the corn itself. I'm just gonna season liberally. I'm gonna give it a drizzle of extra virgin olive oil and I'm gonna pop it back in and stick it in the water. Now you could cook these in the microwave. Make sure that they're just covered in water because that's gonna help protect them so they don't completely burn when you put them in. And then we'll get these into the wood oven. Perfect. All right, marinade. These little guys. Golden chilies, they're called, or frigatelli, I think they are in Italian. They're kind of similar to jalapeno. Just take the stalks off. I've got some capers, some anchovies. I love anchovies, and pork loves anchovies as well. I'm gonna add a little bit of citrus in the form of lemon juice. No pips, thank you very much. The green part of the spring onion is the bit that I wanna put in the blender. I want the color and the vibrancy of that green spring onion as well. And then we're gonna go with some herbs. So I'm gonna give this parsley a bit of a haircut. And then I'm gonna give it just an extra little kick of jalapeno hot sauce. Extra virgin olive oil, good glug. And some red wine vinegar for some extra acidity and some white soy. Not too much, as I said, the anchovies are bringing the salt in here, but double down on the umami with a little bit of white soy just to bring it together. And that's it, we're gonna get it cranking. That's great. What we're gonna do is literally pour this on top of our meat and get our hands in there and I wanna massage it in to the pork. Make sure that you get that marinade really inside all the nooks and crannies of that pork. Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna skewer our meat. So just grab one of your slices. What you wanna do is sort of do a bit of a folding game. So you fold it back onto itself. Look at that. Now I'm compacting it and making it as tight as possible. Don't worry if you've got little outliers and hangers on because when they go in the wood oven, they're gonna go super caramelized and super delicious. Don't worry about it. Drizzle of extra virgin olive oil, a good extra lick of seasoning, and then we'll get our pork in right next to the fire. Okay, so we'll get the rest of our salad ready, right? A couple of Lebanese cucumbers. Get it in a bowl, done. Avocado, okay. Treviso, don't be afraid of the treviso. When you get to this part, just give it an extra chop because we don't want massive bits of lettuce. They go in. Some springers, we used the greens already. So now we're gonna use the white part of it. I'm cutting it quite rustic. I wanna see it in there. Springers, in. Now, corn, yes, I think so. Look at these. These look absolutely unreal. And they smell pretty good too. Look at them. So we'll just stick them on our board. Okay, let's have a look at the pork. That's looking pretty tasty, right? So now's a good time just to turn it over. I'm gonna start getting the caramelization on the sides that don't have any yet. Back in she goes. Now, corn. Cut your corn like that, rather than doing it where it pings everywhere, okay? Don't be a jock, all right? Laws, can you please, for the people at home, bring the pizza dough? While Laws is getting that, some simple dressing, red wine vinegar, extra virgin olive oil, lots of pepper. Ah, oh, darling, pizza dough, fabulous. Straightforward pizza dough, nothing too crazy. And then we're gonna put them in the pizza oven and it's gonna puff up and it's gonna be delicious. 
let's have a look at our pour. I'm going to check the temperature and I'm looking for around about 58, 60 degrees, somewhere around about there. What temperature do you think it is, Loz? 60 on the nose. That's right. That's chef's intuition is what that is. So I'm going to rest these on our salad because I want the juices from the pork to go into our salad, right? More flavor. All right, these guys in the oven. These are now rested and looking beautiful. Do you reckon I could eat both of these? Yes. For sure I could eat both of these. All well, these breads. What we're gonna do is just give it a little drizzle of extra virgin olive oil, season it straight away so as the salt sticks. Oh, come on. Pork, stick it down in your bowl and just cut all the way down. You wanna cut the caramelized bits off first. So don't cut all the way against the skewer, just cut the caramelization off of the skewer. And then with the back of your knife, push it down, done. How easy a dinner is this? Yeah. And now we just get one of these, and just cut around the edge and you'll see it opens up into an epic little pocket. Look at that. Oh, come on, get that in there. Oh yeah, some extra pork, thank you. Come on, this is a dinner for champions. You can all go home now. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching. And if you like that, please click subscribe because there's plenty more where that came from. Also, if there's a recipe that you actually want to see me make, chuck it in the comments below and we'll get around to it. Thanks for watching.